Gracia Martor, the new chief executive of Gannett, is on a mission to persuade investors that the owner of USA Today, local newspapers and local broadcast stations can be a digital powerhouse. We sat down with her after her first investor day to ask her what she thought shareholders wanted to see from the company to buy in in 2012. You came into this job as CEO in October and you've just held your first investor day for Gannett. What did you decide in that period that investors needed to see from a, a newspaper and local broadcasting company to buy into one in 2012? The key advantages that we have as a company, which is our hometown advantage, uh, we're in 100 communities across this country where we have very deep relationships with consumers through the great and engaging and relevant content that we provide them. And then we also have relationships with over 150,000 small and medium-sized businesses. So taking advantage of that key advantage that we have, that infrastructure, those relationships we've already built in those communities, and then combining that with the fact that we have great brand recognition. So in Des Moines, Iowa, the Des Moines Register is an unbelievably important brand in that community. It stands for something. We've been in those communities for 50 or 100 years. We've helped consumers understand um, a lot about their community. We've shined a light on issues that are important to consumers and people who live in those communities and also help small and medium-sized businesses thrive in those communities. So Gannett's best-known brand is probably still its national brand, Absolutely. USA Today. It was a, a pioneer and an innovator in the newspaper world 30 years ago when it launched. Um, but what's the role for a general news brand like that in the digital age where it's going up on online and on tablets, on smartphones against everybody from Yahoo News to the Huffington Post? And one of the things that we're going to be doing is highlighting the great opportunity we have with USA Today. It has 99% brand recognition in this country. So that's an enormous advantage we have. And as we bring that to other platforms beyond print, such as the tablet, we have the number one news app on tablets. We just launched on Kindle Fire in December, and we are the number one news app on Kindle Fire. So our ability to take that incredible brand that we have that has incredible recognition and now expand our audience through all of these digital platforms bodes very well, we believe, for USA Today. So more broadly, you know, what, pr what advertising trends are you expecting to drive the business? You, do you see a big acceleration of the decline in print? And do you think that your initiatives in digital are going to be enough to, to compensate for that? As we talked about yesterday, we do believe that print is in secular decline. However, we believe consumers' thirst for relevant, engaging content has never been higher. And our ability to deliver that enables us through the number of initiatives that we're talking about to, number one, stabilize our publishing business, but also to accelerate our growth. So we talked yesterday about our new content subscription model, where what we are going to do is charge consumers for the thing that matters the most to them, which is the engaging, relevant content that we provide, not the particular platform that we deliver that content on. And what makes you think they're going to pay when there are free sites like AOL's patch sites popping up all over the country? Right. Um, we believe that um, consumers are going to be willing to pay because we've done a lot of research on that. We had three trial sites in three communities in our um, publishing business. We got a lot of learnings out of those over the last year. We've done an enormous amount of research in 14 plus communities that we have. And what we understand and consumers are telling us is that they see value in differentiated relevant content that is important to their lives and they are willing to pay for that content. We believe that those relationships we've had in those communities, the work we do in those communities, the kind of content that we provide by being part of the fabric of those communities sets us apart from the patches and everybody else who are just beginning to become known in those communities. We have 5,000 journalists across our company that are deployed who live in and work in those communities and who understand them better than anybody else. Thank you very much. Are you now ready to play Long Short? 
Absolutely. Print newspapers in 2030. Long. Print newspapers in 2050. Long. Facebook. Long. Pinterest. Uh, hold. Groupon. Short. Mitt Romney. <laughs> um, long. U.S. job creation. Long. U.K. job creation. Short. The London Olympics. Long. And Jeremy Lin. Long. Thank you very much. Thank you.